Welcome to the Grace Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I might the explosive one. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yo. You know, now and now and then you see vending machines in the world that just have some good old functionality. Oh my god. We're talking about Japanese uh pantaloon machines again. What underwear. Is that? Like Hold on, have, that's, that's, that's different than what I even was going to talk about. What is that? They have, like, in Japan, they have, like, the uh, vending machines that have, like, women's undergarments in them, and you like, can purchase them. Oh, like, if you, like, forgot to forgot to put them on before you left the house? <laughs> yeah, that, that's an excellent idea, actually, Jonas, but no. Like, oh, the, oops, they're... accidentally forgot panties again. Here's a <laughs> panty machine. They're the kind that they put, like, you know, a special scent on, and then they sell them to men for their own deviant desires. Wait, they have that, like, they just have a used panty machine? It's very funny. I actually saw, like, a, I don't know if it was, like, a Vice thing or something. It might have even been, like, an MTV thing back in the day when MTV actually did, like, journalism to a certain extent. Yeah, but yeah. they showed, like, a, a back like a behind the scenes on like the whole uh panty vending machine selling thing and these girls are just like they're like like can we take like uh they took like uh like oil from sardines and put it on <laughs> and all it has to do is have like a, a fricked up smell like because like I don't know you know a like fricked up smell yeah how do you, how do I describe this Jonas I'm trying not to be like crass or mis- mis- misogynistic here but vagina don't like smell like great okay. right it's like I like I find the smell intoxicating myself <laughs> all right intoxicating. but like it's not like I got so like they just so they aren't really wearing them I don't want it on a burger I'm <laughs> sorry I'm sorry what. <laughs> So so they they just they aren't wearing them they're just like yeah so you just faux yeah, like faking it yeah they got to mass produce them man I imagine that most of the girls on OnlyFans that do the same business model they're uh you know they're not but I mean you only got to wear them for a little bit right bro but you got like fifty different guys like I need your panties here's my fifty bucks bro you mass producing panties ain't I don't got time to wear them all I ain't got time to wear them all but what about the authenticity of your product. I mean, they're the probably control. Hey, brother, there's probably some people who, you know, put their hallmark on authenticity, but I, I don't know if that's the uh, the vast majority. But okay. what's the vending machine story you were bringing up? Oh, it I, was not the panty I, machine. I, it was not. No. Okay. Uh, so uh, in Alabama, there is. <laughs> Why is... Honestly, that's the funniest joke of the whole video so far. <laughs> Why is... Tell that one again. Okay. It made me spit out my beverage. <laughs> In Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> what is happening? One more time. <laughs> what is the people in the back? They hear you. <laughs> In Alabama. <laughs> <laughs> My God! <laughs> oh, fuck you, Alabama! Wow! Keep it going. <laughs> In Alabama, yeah. uh, two grocery stores are currently dispensing ammunition. So they're selling ammunition in Alabama. In, I, I, in a vending machine. Wait, hold, wait, 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 wait! In the vending. They're machine? They're selling bullets. In a vending machine, in a grocery store, in two <laughs> grocery stores in Alabama. Well, what are the names of the grocery stores that we know? Please, Jones, uh, please tell me you know the name of the grocery store. Oh, my God. If it's a piggly Fresh wiggly. value. Oh, damn it. Okay. And then it's called the name of the company that's dispensing the bullets is American Rounds. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, automated ammunition dispenser, which uses artificial intelligence technology to verify a buyer's identification and age through card scanning and facial recognition software. So the buyer inserts their photo ID and the machine conducts a 360 degree scan to match the ID to the person. And then they can sell you bullets. Because Lord knows if there's one thing you need more of quicker and faster without any sort of check <laughs> is ammunition. Because, like, I, I can't tell you how many times it's been about 3 o'clock in the morning and I'm like, 
God damn it, I just ran out of bullets. I need to go get some goddamn bullets for my gun, and no gun stores are open. And then you run to the, what was the name of the? the fresh Value. You run up to the Fresh Value. It, and get your get yourself some bullets. Yeah, get your ammo on. Yeah, because, I, I mean, everyone needs to buy bullets when normal stores aren't open. Mm. If there's one thing I need, it's mid <laughs> midnight bullets. Right now. I, I can't wait. I mean, I imagine that the the vending machines would be under lock and key at midnight. So you might be only, only able to get it during like No, they do out. face scans and stuff, man. So they got they got some technology out there. They do face scans. So that's I mean, honestly, some level of security being in place is better than no level of security being in place. Yeah. So I'll give them that what if much. You get Facial scans is probably while you're taking ammo cuz if they know if you're getting ammo out, you don't mm -hmm. have ammo for your gun, so they're going to rob you while you're getting ammo because they know you're at your weakest. Mm -hmm. Because not everybody's saving their last bullet to guard themselves at the mm. ammo machine. And from what I hear, ammo ain't cheap. So you're saying is that instead of robbing somebody who I don't know has a gun, I should rob the person who I know has a gun. But is at, out of bullets. Because they're at the ammo machine. But they're out of bullets because why would you be at the vending machine? Obviously, it's an emergency situation, if or you would just go to your standard armor, arm, Army Navy store, right? Yeah, if it's 3 a.m. Mm. and you're at a bullet vending machine, odds are you're out of bullets and you need them. Mm. So you got to get there before the guy gets you. This, you make a valid point here, man. Yeah. This might be the next big thing. I hope. I mean, it is America we're I hope talking about. every 7-Eleven has a bullet vending machine. You know what's crazy? I told that whole story about, like, the Japanese underwear vending machines in the beginning. I wonder if there's a, a, a like, a... <laughs> I almost made a, a joke. Um, I wonder if there's a crazy town podcast in, in China right now, obviously in their language, um, where they're talking about the ammo vending machines out there. And they're like, yes, Americans really do this. Uh, I mean, I'm saying America. Yes, Americans really do this, and I'm American. Yeah, you know, I'm just trying to think of like the dichotomy of things. Like maybe I derailed their podcast by them talking about America. They were like, they were like, in Alabama, <laughs> <laughs> they, were, they were like her in Harajuku, in Os Osawa, in Osaka. Uh, have you ever seen any other weird vending machines in the U.S., brother? I don't like. I don't know. I pay attention. I don't remember shit. I mean, I, in uh, Vegas, we saw like the uh, the cake vending machines and the pizza vending machine. It, or is it the cake pizza cake? You remember that place? Pizza cake. There's a pie vending machine. That maybe that's it's what it uh is. it's on it's not far from here. I've never. It, there's been. a place that sells pies. They have a pie vending machine. I don't know how. I, I feel have about seen that. a in Ohio. In the country, there was a worm vending machine where you could get uh, bait to go fishing from a vending machine. That's about it. Was it Ohio as they, as they come? Yeah. I don't think if there's anything else I've ever seen. I mean, I've definitely seen some, like, the vending machines that have, like, chips in them. <laughs> You mean a standard vending machine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the oh, one that, okay, that, yeah, that, I've seen no, those too. No, no, no. Crazy. People have to fill them up, like in, like the, you know, like a school lunchroom. They have like chips and candy bars and like stuff like that. But I've seen them where they have like other weird shit, like packs of pencils and like like oh. just wild like yeah, like the vending machines at the airport. They'll have like some freaking uh, they have like some earbuds in them or, so, or yeah, or, or like yeah, yeah or just like nothing. a that's fair. Yeah, like a extra socks. Yeah, yeah, never, never ammunition though. Like I couldn't imagine. I, I, first off, I want to know the prices of on this ammunition. It did not have the price. Like, is it comprehensive it to should, like the Army Navy store? It or? should be. There should be a markup. I, you would think because of the convenience if factor. I'm, it'd be like if I was a guy selling ammo on the street at two o'clock in the morning. Mm -hmm. My price is going to be a little higher than it is during the day. How do you pick a location, Jonas? Where 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 do you put your ammo vending machine? Do you pick it in like a high crime area? Do you put it in a fresh value place? grocery store. Yeah, but I mean, like obviously the grocery store has like multiple locales. So like, which uh, one do you one put? The one where there's the most guns. <laughs> well, in Alabama, that's freaking anywhere. Then, now and I guess they just threw a dart at a dartboard. I'm pretty sure in Alabama, when your child is born, they hand it a rifle. And they basically <laughs> they call tell it, it. 
They, they hand it a rifle. <laughs> they hand it a rifle. And they tell it to fend for itself. Yeah, I'm pretty Go sure that's how it works. Go out and kill your first buffalo. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I make fun of Alabama, but all the babies that survive in Alabama are like, they're freaking feral. Oh. They're like feral beasts. Feral babies, huh? Now, I don't know, man. Something about that the Alabama drinking water and the whole <laughs> giving a gun, that birth thing is crazy. Did you read about that on the internet? I mean, Jonas, you you think I'm joking. It's true. All right. It's this this like I've truth not facts anything else everything I say about Alabama that's the shit's truth. Okay. Like a, a, in Alabama, if you have not killed an alligator and eaten it whole by your third birthday, <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm. Dude, I don't make the rules, okay? I'm, I know it sounds crazy, but you have to eat the alligator whole by three years old. I'm pretty sure they just send you to Florida. That's how it works. They. <laughs> You've That's how been it works. downgraded to Florida. <laughs> yeah, that's okay. a hell of a downgrade. Okay. I mean, all there. right. These will be coming to Texas pretty soon, man. I can't wait. Vending machines? With ammo? Oh, yeah, I like it. Oh, yeah. So, anywho, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Go to thecrazynow.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.